Hi there, it's me, Sunny from Atlas Health Nutrition, and today I'm here to give you a very, very quick video screencast review of the Primal Blueprint by Mark Sision. So, it's a great book, definitely a number one starting book for anyone who's just getting into, you know, Paleolithic diets, caveman diets, or trying to eat more like our original ancestors before agriculture when we were a lot healthier and a lot more athletic, lean, and fit, more challenged physically and mentally. So really there are several points that I make in my review in the full article, which is included at the end of this video screencast. So point one, are you Grok or Korg? The 10 Primal Blueprint Laws, which I won't go into detail, but I'll just tell you. The Primal Avoid List, Easy Language, recipes, and what you may not like about the Primal Blueprint by Mark. So are you Grok or Korg? And Mark's big thing with this book is the use of, you know, kind of analogies using Grok to represent our ancient ancestors before agriculture who were a lot more lean and fit, walked dozens of miles, lifted heavy things, ate well, mostly fish and meat, and some plants and nuts, and really got enough sleep and had a very low stress, mostly low stress life, if you look at tribal society today. And that's contrasted with Korg, which represents, you know, today's modern lifestyle of, you know, Western diets, fast food, lack of exercise or way too much exercise, and eating a lot of junk food. And Mark really uses this as the kind of overarching story to help explain to you the advantages and reasons why you want to be on a Paleolithic diet. What I also love about Mark's book is the fact that he lays out 10 primal blueprint laws, which I won't go into specific details about. There's a whole bunch of them, things like, you know, don't do stupid things, avoid grains, uh, things like that, and of course lift heavy things every once in a while, are some three of the laws that Mark gives. It's the fact that the whole book is written around these ten primal blueprint laws, and Mark gives you a summary of all these laws at the very start, and then he goes into more detail throughout the book, explaining why you should do this, and what are its advantages. And that's a great thing, and I, I love that. It's kind of like your Holy Ten, Compa Ten Commandments Bible list. Mark also has the Primal Avoid list. So you got the stuff that you should do with the Ten Primal Blueprint Laws, and then you got the Primal Avoid list, which covers diet, exercise, medicine, things like that. The things that you should avoid, like pharmaceutical drugs, and, you know, just stressing out too much, which leads to high adrenaline levels, which can also lead to weight gain and lots of other health problems. And so Mark really gives a very quick summary of this very, you know, the primal avoid list at the very end of the book. Mark uses very easy language, and it's pretty understandable by most anyone. You don't have to know a lot of science, and Mark, in fact, doesn't really use that much science throughout the book. So there's very little technical things for other non-scientific people to go through. Because I have a science background, it was easy to understand anyways. However, if you want more detailed you know, technical language, you probably want to turn to the next best reference, which would be The Pale Solution by Rob Wolf. You're probably wondering, well, what else can you eat, really, if it's just such a simple diet? Well, there's lots of inventive recipes or you know, recipes that really mirror some of the things that you're used to that you can make out of things like cashews, for example. And these recipes aren't really in Mark Sisson's Primal Blueprint. They are in his other book, The Primal Blueprint Cookbook. And there are several other paleo cookbooks that I recommend in the full article included at the end. The link is included at the end of this video screencast. So what you may not like about this book is not very much. In fact, it's just so down to earth. It's very simple. It's you know laid out in a nice little framework for you to work with. The only thing I said is it's the science side of things. It's there. It's just not well cited. So if you're a person who really likes looking 
to make sure that there's lots of citations, what's the scientific research look like, things like that. Mark really skips all of that sort of thing. The research is out there. He's got the proof to back it up. It's just that if you're looking for specific details to read up yourself, you may find that difficult to do because he doesn't list those references. Again, if you want an easier way to do it, you can turn to another book like Rob Wolf's The Paleo Solution. So the review of the Power Blueprint comes down to several points. Again, like I said, you know, it's great that Mark uses the Grok or Korg analogy about our ancestors versus us today. The Ten Prime Blueprint Laws, which lays out the entire framework of the book and is nice and easy to look back at. The Primal Avoid List, which is a very quick summary of all the things that you should avoid, such as drugs and pharmaceuticals, as well as junk food and wheat and grains. The easy language of this book is just that good for those people who are beginners and who really don't want to deal with like a lot of technical science language or jargon. Recipes? Well, the book doesn't have recipes. It does, however, lead its way towards the Primal Blueprint cookbook by Mark. And of course, what you may not like is just simply the fact that there's a lack of scientific citations. The, sci the science is sound, it's just simply Mark doesn't include them in his book. So what are you going to do to live more like your ancestors and be true to your genetics? Leave your comments and thoughts below about what you're going to do to live a much more Paleolithic lifestyle according to maybe Mark Sisson's Primal Blueprint. And or leave your YouTube comments below if you're watching the video on YouTube. Okay, take care guys, stay fit and have fun.